Men of Multipliers, what's happening? Back with Ali Mirza for our final video. Okay, this is really interesting to me, actually. This got me excited when you talked to me about it because definitely right now, right, we have got to be able to incentivize, again, incentivizing salespeople always matters. Right now, it could be a game changer. But what you've said is, it's not necessarily what you incentivize, but how you do it. And you said the word pageantry, which was interesting. The pageantry of how you incentivize. Dude, how are you doing this? How, how, how are you making this happen right now in your office right now with your salespeople? So I think, I, I think people get too hung up on, you know, bonus structures, tiers, all this other stuff. Don't get me wrong, those are all important. But to your point, how you give people those bonuses, those extra little, little things, because you have your comp structure created, right? And all of a sudden, you know, something's happening in the marketplace, something's occurring, and all of a sudden you're starting to see the activity starting to taper off, the results starting to taper off, everything, and the instant response is, okay, I need to pay them more. The problem with that is, regardless of how you set up why you pay them, well, how do we typically, or, or, or like um, what we're paying on, how we pay them never changes, right? So that mental side of them never really kicks in, right? So it's like, okay, for every extra deal, I'm gonna give you X amount more. Okay, that, that's not really sexy, right? So in my opinion, you leave the regular comp structure alone, and then you add a different variable, and it's that that how it is presented, right? What it and and that's that's the pageant. Yeah, it's the panace, right? Exactly. So, break show us, man. How are you doing this? Oh, what what a hair? Here's my prop, right? So one thing I went on Amazon. This, this thing's like ten bucks. It's a money gun, right? And so like yeah, and all you, it's, so you're shooting dollar bills. You, you 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 put you put that in here, and and because it it literally is dollar bills. It's fifty bucks nothing like this thing is like twenty dollars but you put fifty dollars in here for every deal that gets sold you just shoot, you just shoot this thing off in the air and then what that does is it creates hype and excitement it gets that adrenaline going the fifty dollars is not what they care about what they care about is like seeing money flow so from a mental standpoint it really changes their their mindset the other thing that i do is that you know a lot of times at the beginning of the morning i'll say first person to sell something will get a stick right and a stick is nothing but it's in my bag so it's in my it's in my bag and the stick is fifty dollars so i keep a bag full of cash here and i know you can't see it now but it's I literally hanging out the side there but yeah, yeah. so the stick the, is boom the stick, the stick is 50 bucks. so and so it's again next to nothing it's fifty dollars what would a salesperson ever do for fifty bucks N not, not a good one probably nothing but to get them to, to say, hey, I'll give you one stick, I'll give you two sticks, you grab a whole lot of them, right? And then you just be like, who wants this? Just seeing that alone gets them excited, but then how you give it to them. You don't go in like, oh, hey, by the way, Johnny, you closed it, here you go, right? You know, they don't get it that day. They get it the next morning during the entire company meeting. And it's a lot of hype, we've got a gong, and it's just like, and, and I'm, I'm a pretty loud person and I've got like that, that flair. So, I mean, you're the leader, you better, you better get, get ready for it. And then I build up all this hype. I'm like, um, what's the name? Bruce Buffer, right? Where I'm like trying to like get and like intro them and say with five deals with this and the average gross was this and this and this and this and this, the winner of yesterday's stick is Tommy. And I'm just yelling it and there's 70 people here. So, and, and, and there's only like 10 people on the sales team. And then I just throw the, the stick at them. But that recognition. How you're doing it. It's the recognition. It's the public praise. But you're showing us some ways to do it um, that we haven't thought. I mean, I think the freaking money gun is, is, is genius. And, you know, throwing the sticks at them, right? And even putting language, right? Like yeah. probably people heard stick. They thought you're going to pull a stick out of your bag. But now you're creating internal language in the company. And so I think it's creates that culture. Yeah, it creates that culture. And like, and like, look, I mean, it's clearly like a drug dealer move to keep like the money in a Louis bag, but it's just that little, little thing that makes them laugh. It makes them kind of like, and that's the whole point of this, right? Is to make them laugh. It's not to be serious and to get them having fun. I think the best salespeople are, are very creative. And when their brain is loose and, 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 and flowing, because then the client says something and then you're quick with the wit right back.
right? Yeah. That's, that's how I want my salespeople to be and not be like, uh, 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 right? And so I'm creating a loose and casual environment here. And that's ultimately what was going to get us the deals. They're not doing it for the 50 bucks. They're doing it because of the pageantry that comes with it. Love it. So focus not just on what you give, but how you give it. Because for salespeople, at the end of the day, that actually might matter most. And dude, if you don't get this, just think about your wife, right? <laughs> and what you give it, it's how you give it to her. So yeah. I know that uh, my wife likes the creativity that goes behind the gift. So Minimultipliers Multipliers and Ali Mirza, you are the man as always. Thank you so much for your time, buddy.